Martial artist Vincent Zhao was born on April 10, 1972 in Harbin, the son of a martial artist and a professional sprinter. Following the instructions of his father, he studied martial arts from the age of eight, but he did not yet have an interest in this sport. He was able to truly immerse himself in the world of Chinese Wushu after entering the Harbin Academy of Martial Arts, where he began to train with great interest. At the academy, he studied various styles of Wushu and achieved significant success in Taijiquan. He soon became the youngest member of the Harbin Wushu team, which was created in 1985. He participated in many competitions and won prizes, as well as titles and gold medals. In 1990, he entered Beijing Sports University to continue his studies in martial arts. Vincent's film career began in 1992, when director Corey Yuan was looking for a wushu master to play the villain in his film The Legend of Fong Sai Yuk, starring Jet Li. On the set of the same film, another director Sui Hark notices him and offers him the main role in the fourth and fifth parts of the film Once Upon a Time in China. Sui Hark also offered him a contract for three years, but Vincent refused as at that moment he was more interested in studying martial arts at the university than in his acting career. Vincent was most attracted to Taijiquan in those days, and for his persistence he was given the nickname King of Wushu. After graduating from university, he wanted to stay there as an instructor, but due to his work in cinema, he worked as a teacher for only three months. During the filming of the fifth part of Once Upon a Time in China, the actor received his first serious injury, he simply slipped out of the blue and broke his head. Filming had to be stopped and Vincent was taken to the hospital where he received several stitches. The box office of the fourth and fifth parts of Once Upon a Time in China turned out to be not as impressive as the first parts, so ultimately the director transferred the series to television, but the main role still remained with Vincent. The series stayed on the air for two years. Hark also cast the actor in two of his other films, the remake of the one-armed swordsman Blade and the gourmet action film Chinese Feast, where Vincent played the role of a cook. Until the mid-2000s, the actor's main place of work was TV series, although in 2006 he returned to Hong Kong, where, with the help of Jackie Chan, he signed a contract with a Hollywood agency that was trying to find him work. Nevertheless, he then starred in only one film and only in an episode, it was the children's comedy in Blue. Vincent could well have played the main villain in the famous film Rush Hour 3, he even moved to America where he learned English, but in the end this role went to another actor. However, 2009 marked the actor's large-scale return to big cinema. Yuan Wu Ping chose him to play the lead role in his epic film The Real Legend, in which Vincent played the legendary beggar master, who had been played by other famous actors of the genre before him. Vincent started his film career relatively late and this did not allow him to grow into a full-fledged action star, as his predecessors Jet Li and Donnie Yen did, although he had no less potential. But his talents came in handy in modern times, when Hong Kong cinema again began to lack real masters.